Hey everybody, Jeff Argent here. Well, we're now on to episode 14, Bottomless Pit. Hmm, I think I recall that being mentioned back in the... the Time Traveler's Pig episode. So, yeah. Should be interesting to see what exactly this is. Let's take a look. Bum, 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 bum. In this land of ours, there are many great pits, but none more bottomless than the bottomless pit, which, as you can see here, is bottomless. Hmm. Question, is it bottomless? <sighs> Kids, could one of you try explaining this to Seuss? Grunkle Stan, why are we here again? To dispose why of things that we don't want. Why is he not going to So long, Mystery Shack suggestion cards. Goodbye, creepy love letters from little Gideon. <laughs> die, die! <laughs> what are you doing? Throwing stuff, dude. Everyone's doing it. What is in the box? What you got there, Mabel? <laughs> it's just my personal box of mysterious secrets. Nothing worth wondering about. <laughs> oh! Goodbye forever! Uncle Stan, do I really have to be the one to point out that a bottomless pit is, by definition, impossible? Says you. Well, I guess we'll never know. Ah! Some sort of invisible pushing force. Quick, everyone back to the shack. I'm not done getting rid of these yet. Uncle Stan, no! Almost, almost, almost. Down the pit we go. Let's change to this hat. Okay. That's interesting. Scream some more? Where are we? We're somewhere where it looks like we're nowhere. <laughs> we're gonna land on something eventually. Could be any second now. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're down here for the long haul. Who wants to see some card tricks? <laughs> Ta da! Hey, maybe we should pass the time by telling stories. I've got a story. It's called The Time Grunkle Stan Got Us All Thrown Into a Bottomless Pit Where We Spent the Rest of Our Natural Lives. Go on. Come on, Zibber. You can do better than that. Fine. I'll tell you a story. A story I'd like to call voiceover. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Ready? Spin, Spin the, the pig! pig! <laughs> hey, Grunkle Stan. Ever kissed a pig before? I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> guys, guys! I think I just got bit by a snake! I need you to get me to a hospital quick! <laughs> what? What's so funny? Uh, sorry, it's just hard to focus on what you're saying with that squeaky puberty voice you got there. My what? It's nothing to be ashamed of, Dipper. Your voice is hilarious! Are you saying my voice cracks? My voice doesn't crack. Dude, no offense, but it cracks so much we've already made a techno remix out of it. Nice to meet you. My name's Dipper Pines. 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 Nice to meet you. Pines. 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 Do I really sound like that? Oh, here comes my favorite part. Stop it, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Stand up, pig. <sighs> so wait, we're having an episode my inside an episode. Weird. Hello, I couldn't help but overhear your situation, old man McGucket. Part-time inventor! Why did you spit on your hand? I don't rightly know! Hey, I remember you! Your robot almost killed me! Come here! Follow me into this dark, dangerous alley! Lately, I've been a-tinkerizing with a voice alter and tonic on account of my horrifying voice! <laughs> you can run, but I'll still be in your nightmares! 
This will really fix my voice? Thanks! <laughs> Come morning, you'll sound like a new man! If you survive! So we're having an episode inside an episode. Seriously? Good morning, Dipper. Hello! Uh -oh. I did it. I did it! Now I have a new voice! Ha ha ha! Oh, boy. Morning, Mabel. Who's my favorite Mabel? Ah! Oh, oh, you gave oh, me oh, my oh, brother! Oh. Dipper, I'll save you from this body-switching warlock! Mabel, it's me. This is my voice now. I sound awesome. Sound awesome. I knew boys' voices changed, <laughs> but this is weird. Weird and bad. Mabel, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. And just think of the prank calls. Hello, this is the President of the United States of America. I'm calling to tell you. <laughs> what? Who is this? Ho ho ho, magnificent. Mabel, no like. How you diddly doing, Sauce? Kill it! Oh, kill it with fire! <laughs> <Everyone fight. laughs> What gives, man? You guys all made fun of my old voice. I thought you'd like the new one. Dude, at least before you sounded like a real person. Now you sound like some kind of weird commercial dude. I'll find Stan. He'll like my new voice. You'll see. I'll be right back after these messages. I, uh, I mean, goodbye. I'm Grunkle assuming it's at that point where commercials Grunkle hit. Grunkle Stan! Where are you, Grunkle Stan? Huh? I know that voice anywhere. You're the guy who prank called me earlier. No, no, I'm not. I'm just a 12-year-old boy. You expect me to believe that, you crazy voice punk? Wait, no! I eat. There's a prank call around the loose. Let's get him! Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. This went horribly wrong. Oh. Escape! Oh. McGucket, your invention was a catastrophe. That's probably why I live in the dump. My own sister didn't recognize me. I scared away crowds. I even sound ridiculous when I cry. <laughs> well, now, here's your problem. I gave you the wrong drinky majig. This one's for voiceover professional. Ah, I'm sure I can get a better voice in here somewhere. Good. <laughs> Hurry up. You got here just in time. Come sundown, you'd have reverted back to your ridiculous old voice. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? Dipper Pines. That's me. This remix is dedicated to my brother. Dipper, your voice is one of a kind. Dude, I've never heard anything like it. Remix over. You ready for your new voice? This one should be permanent. Hey guys! Dipper! Oh dude, you're back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I realized that even though my voice might not be perfect, it's still mine. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Not even for whatever was in this new vial. So what did you do with the rest of that potion? I dumped it in Stan's coffee. Any of you kids see my girdle? My <laughs> girdle <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? I'm Grunkle Stan! Kids laughing. Laughing at they Grunkle. I spy with my little eyes something that is black. Ooh, ooh, everything. Yay for Zeus! Yay for Zeus! Hey guys, who wants to pass the time by spinning? Everyone spin! No. Whee! <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Dipper's brain is funny, but I'm starting to get bored. Zeus, tell a story. Really? Okay. This story is called Zeus's Really Great Pinball Story. Is that a good title? They have to be like puns or whatever. Well, so that's how you spell his name. Go, 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 go! This is it, dudes. After four long years of trying, I might finally get the high score on Stan's creepy old pinball machine. If I do this, I'll go down in pinball history with the likes of Sal, Gap, and of course, Pooh. Have you ever tried maybe just tilting the machine? I don't know, dudes. Isn't breaking the rules like against the rules? Next to the rules. Tilt. Right, that's it. Ready, kids? Tilt, 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 Parker, tilt, Parker, tilt, Parker, New high score! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is the best 
moment of my life. This totally beats my old best moment. Ah. Let it run. You cheated. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? You're just a pinball game, pinball game. Taunt, taunt. Uh, guys, there's an awful lot of green lightning coming out of that game. Nah, uh, that's the normal amount of green lightning. <laughs> green lightning, never a good thing. Oh, five more minutes. Oh, that's not a normal alarm clock. Zeus, we're inside the game! Crazy, sweet moves. Hushed exclamation of wonder. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Dude, if this is a dream, I never want to wake up! That can be arranged. Welcome to Double Weed Terror, partners! Hey, it's a skeleton cowboy guy. Did you zap me into your game to congratulate me on getting the high score? I beat Poe, dude. Hardly. If and I do recall, I warned y'all not to cheat. I tried to be gentlemanlike, but I'm plumb sick of being tilted. So now I reckon I'm gonna tilt you. Oh yeah? Well, well, take this. Ow! And this. Ow! It hurts. I wish this was working better. Oh, dude! Zeus! <laughs> Get yourselves ready for the multi-ball, multi-ball. <laughs> Over there! Where are you? I'm not done teaching you a lesson about cheating yet. How are we ever gonna get out of here? Think, guys. I'm trying, but it's hard with that gorgeous pinball wedge distracting me. <laughs> Dude. Okay, don't worry, guys. I know every inch of this machine. There's a manual power switch inside. I can sneak in there and turn off the game. But we'll have to distract the cowboy guy. Are either of you good at jumping up and down and making annoying noises? My has <laughs> come. All right, let's go, Seuss. Seuss? So are you, like, doing anything later, or...? Right. Come on out and show yourselves, varmints. Hey, hey, hey! Listen to me and look at what I'm doing! <laughs> Something ain't right here. Distraction! Distraction! Let me see where this is going. Really? They're literally shouting distraction at you. Oi. <gasps> Yippee-tie-yi, what? Where are you? Darn it, I wish I had a neck. switch already okay so i was gonna do that but i've been thinking according to this turning off the power erases the high score permanently that score is like my one big life accomplishment what if you don't hurry up we could die in here fair point but what is life anyway when compared to the immortality of a high score Zeus, are you out of your there y'all are get ready to meet your maker kids my maker is ballway games in redmond washington is that an out of her Oh, you dudes okay? Yes, Zeus. You did it! You freed us! Hey, man. I'm sorry you had to lose your high score. <sighs> That's okay. I got a new life accomplishment now. Saving you dudes. Aww. <laughs> oh, cute. You think that pinball wench will call me? I can't believe this nonsense. Magic tonics? Zeus winning at something? Where do you come up with this stuff? I'll tell you a good story. It's called Grunkle Stan Wins the Football Bowl. Mr. Pines, I thought old folks were useless, but you taught me and my gloating friends a lesson. Yeah! Here's your football winning trophy, Mr. Pines. Th 
Thanks, beautiful woman, but I couldn't have done it without my sidekick, Footbot. Thank you for building me, Daddy. <laughs> I love you, Stan. Boo! Oh, come on! Ridiculous! What? That story was great. I even threw in a talking robot for the kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell a non-terrible story. A story called Truthage. Okay. This attraction is gonna make me a fortune. Easy with that bear corduroy. I need him in showroom condition. No! No! <laughs> So, let me get this straight. Your plan is to teach this bear to ride a bicycle? Nah, come on. Everyone's seen a bicycle riding bear. No, no. I'm gonna teach this bear to drive. And the yellow light means speed up. Uh-oh. What seems to be the problem, officers? Now, there'd better be a darn good explanation for this. Oh, there is. You see, I'm a very old man, not long for this earth, and the doctors assigned me a seeing eye bear to drive me to the hospital in case of emergencies. Is that right? Then where's your doctor's note? Why, it's right here inside my jacket. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Well, I can't argue with Dr. Medicine. To the hospital, honey pants. <laughs> Uncle Stan, how could you lie to those policemen? Don't you know lying is always wrong? Mabel, when you get to be my age, you'll learn that sometimes you have to bend the truth for the greater good. Hey, has anyone seen my plate of spaghetti? <laughs> no, but I bet Seuss has. You know how he likes to eat. This is a dark day. Thanks, Uncle Stan. Oy. See? Greater good. Ah! Waddles, what am I going to do about Uncle Stan? He needs to stop lying. I know, but how do we stop him? Maybe you should check Dipper's journal, oink oink. Say oink one more time. Oink oink. Waddles, you genius! Buried beneath the tree stump in the deep forest are truth teeth, which force upon the wearer an inability to lie. Hmm. Oh, this should be good. Am I, be, am I good? I mean, equally bad. Will it work on dentures? That's the question. Oh, she's given a whole set of dentures. Plot Not twist the magazine. On. What? Mabel? Quick question. What happened to Dipper's spaghetti plate? I ate it because I have little to no concern for other people's possessions or emotions. Ugh, that was strangely candid. Almost as if I'm unable to lie. Well, good night. You what? That seems like a horrible idea. It's great. Now he has to tell the truth. Hmm. Scrambled meat. Here it is. Stan, what do you do in secret every day during your lunch break? Usually I spend the hour aggressively scratching myself in places I shouldn't mention. Now I'm going to avoid making eye contact by pretending to read this newspaper and go to the bathroom without washing my hands. Ew. Ew. Well, that was disturbing. Don't worry, Dipper. The truth is always a good thing. Hey, excuse oh, yeah. me, do you think this t-shirt is my size? Never mind the t-shirt! Hey, everybody! Look at this guy's abnormal and unattractive face! Oh. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, doing my taxes. Uh, Grunkle Stan, why did you write this? Because I regularly commit massive tax fraud. Might want to tuck that one away there. Sometimes I think, is this all there is? Is life just some kind of horrific joke without a punchline? That we're all just biding our time until the sweet, sweet release of death? Okay! There's telling the truth, and there's brutally telling the truth. Kids! I think I have a growth forming on my back! Just wanted to be honest with you guys! I can't take it anymore, Mabel. You have to take those teeth out of his mouth. But then he'd be a liar again. Could it possibly be any worse than this? So after further investigation, turns out there is no doctor medicine in Gravity Falls. You better have a darn good explanation for this. Oh, and I do. You see, I lied to you. 
In addition, I've been parking in handicapped spaces, shoplifting fireworks, and smuggling endangered animals across multiple state lines. Also, you're fat. Is all this true? No, no, it's not true. Right, Mabel? Uh, sirs, I have to be completely and totally honest with you. Our great uncle Stan is... is... Poor Mabel, do it. Stan is... secretly a crime fiction writer! What? <laughs> yeah! He was just telling you about a character from his upcoming page turner, Crime Grandpa. He's never committed a crime in his life. Also, have you lost weight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Funny, Mabel. someone noticed. Wow, an author! Can you teach me how to read? What? Author? <laughs> Writers, masters of fiction. Good night, officers! <sighs> hey, you all right? I can't believe I lied. Mabel, it was for the greater good. Yeah, the greater good. Hello, police station? Yeah, I forgot to tell him about my tax fraud. No, tax fraud! <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into you, kids? We have to find a place to get rid of these. And I never saw that box full of magical teeth again. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, oh, sweet, my shoes. I like the part with the bear. The rest seemed pretty far-fetched. Mabel, we already know that story. We just lived through it. So if we're living through that story right now, then how does it end? Guys, do you see that? What's the other end? Oh, what is that? Oh, no. Where are we going? Oh, God. Ah! 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 Wait, does that pit just go in a U-turn? <gasps> Look! The shack! Which means we came right back out the top. And I don't think any time has passed. It must be some kind of wormhole. Yeah, dude. That sounds sciencey enough to be true. But that's impossible. No one will believe us. Maybe this is one story we should keep to ourselves. Agree. Ah! He'll be fine. So we're just gonna watch him falling down the pit now? Or is it falling up the pits as they come up the other end? <sighs> Are you going to do anything? This is stupid. Well, what's with the bits at the end? Is that supposed to be some kind of secret code or something? Oh god, it is, isn't it? I'm not solving it! I'm just going to Wikipedia it later. But yeah. Bottomless pit. I was half expecting it to come out in China. But, you know, that's the whole myth, isn't it? Go in one end, come out the other. Through, straight through the earth. But no, this one seems to kind of like loop in on itself. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, this, I think this is sort of a clip show type thing, maybe? Weird ass clip show. Multiple episodes in one. <sighs> I don't know. Kind of enjoyable, but also at the same time, time kind of Felt like they were, I don't know, filling out time between episodes or something. I don't know. Jeff Archfiend, out.